welcome to Kelly on Casting. Today I'm in the beautiful countryside of Church Stretton. I'm fishing Oakland's camping and fishing. So just set up my bivy over here, fishing with Connor. I've got another mate of mine, Damien, he's only come down for a day session. He's already lost one and uh, he's had one as well. Not massive. This is the uh, what they call the specimen lake. And uh, the fish go up to about, well, they go up into the 20s anyway. And the sturgeon in there as well. So, uh, our mission is to catch a sturgeon. Me for 48 hours. Um, so, it gives me plenty of time. Like I said, I've just set my video up, got to set my rods up, cast out, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the place. So, I'll see you in a bit. I haven't even set my rods up yet. And, uh, Ah, oh. Damien was there talking to me. This rod just went. Beep, 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 beep. Off he went running, struck. He's come off. So he's lost two and he's had one. He's been here. So he's rotting the water in probably less than an hour. So, like I said, I'm going to crack on setting my rods up. I haven't even got a rod out yet. Not even open the, uh, the rod bag. So I'm going to set them up, get mine out. No if I get a get a run. Still haven't set me right up. And he's seen again. Just got spooked down below. I'll have a quick look and I'll quickly try and get my rod set up. Come on, mate. Literally, he just cast his rod back out and his upper one went. Have a quick look at him and then I'm going to go and set my rods up. Good little scrapper mate. Still setting up my second rod, and then Connors goes off. Do whilst he gets this in. That's my rod out. Oh, it's a sturgeon. Might well stay in tune now. Oh. Well done. Right, we'll get back to it when he uh, when he picks him up. Smile. 
see, just hold his tail mate and he'll go when he's ready. Oh he's ready already look, off he goes. He's ready and he's gone. Well done mate. Got the right spot today Damien has. So he's got one in the net and his other rod's just gone off. So I'm going to use my net. Oh, nice full scale. so far is just videoing everybody else catch fish. <laughs> I've cast it over, I've not been able to bait up or anything yet. It's lively. Right, I'll end it and I'll show you the pictures after. Sat down. The minute he sat down, he was up. How many is that, mate? Six, five, six. And then you lost a couple. Six. When you get back in the water, fishy, send them my way. Oh, I've finally got my three rods out. I spent more time videoing everybody else catching fish. <laughs> and uh, but finally got mine out, baited up. Bivvy's all set up, all pinned down, ground sheets in, beds in ready. The bed could actually fit along that way, so you, you know, it'd be tight, but you get two beds in there. Bit of a mess at the moment, but I'll get it tidied up. Front panels on. I'm on a bit of a bank though, so it's a bit twisty. And now chop with that bivy. Yeah, at the moment that. Just lost my first fish. Off it went round. Boom, 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 boom. Struck. Nothing. The left one just started bobbing around, and then Damien's has just gone off again as well. So that'll be a seventh fish. Oh, see that one on the left still bobbing. Liners. Saying that's a maggot topper, so I wonder if it's a smaller fish, like nibbling at it. Come off. Ah, oh, he's lost it. It's a bit windy. Tell you what though, only a small one, but what a beauty. Beautiful little fish though, mate.
pan is in now. Just got one from the margin. This is a video on how everybody else catches fish apart from me. <laughs> well done, mate. Going to the gym. <laughs> oh, yeah, some shoulders on him. Nice scales on them, mate. Oh, is he still on? Yes, he's still on. I'm just saying it was just just me that needs to catch one now. Wait it's come. There we have it. It's fat. Lively now has come out. It's coming down here. Alright. Lovely. Let's get you back. Off he goes. Well, well done. done. Recasted mine back out and Connor's has just gone off again. Any good? Again, baby Mary, but beautiful condition, look. Lovely. Yeah, so it's just a small one. But the condition and the colours. Just need to stick a bit of propolis on his lip there, look. Sweet. Big tail on him, isn't there? Well done, Connor. Oh, he's just had a beep on his other one. The tip's bending, mate. The tip's bending, it's going. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it. There's, there's one he's just caught. We can bring that one back in. Oh, 
Oh, he's got another sturgeon, look. What was he on? Well done, mate. Go on with the video in a minute. All right, so he's, uh, he's brought it in now. And believe it or not, we think it's the exact same one he caught about an hour ago. <laughs> we'll be able to top out the tail because it's got a little nick in the tail, so we'll compare it. Well done, mate, going back in. And again, straight away he's gone. Hold on, mate. Start to go quiet again, and then Damien's just had one ripping off. Again, not a massive one, but still. Good job. What the hell? I didn't say that he's got chub in it, yeah? Do you want to you got it. It's a nice chub, mate. You caught a chub before. No? The guy that's come down for the day session is reeling in his eight for night fish. He's literally just casted that out probably about two minutes ago. This is nice fish. You can see. It's beautiful. So it's not not massive, but beautiful fish. Well, a good few hours into the first day. Um, so I've had one. Connor's had a few. Damien's done cracking. He's had like nine. Um, I think the biggest, probably about 12, 13 pound. It's just gone quiet for the last, for the last half hour, I'd say. Start the up few blip, a few liner. It's nice just to actually just sit down and chill out a little bit now. Well, did he eat my burger? And off it went. Connor! Come here, mate. Just chuck that on my chair. <laughs> Sorry, mate, to try on the chair. Where's my phone? 
Ja. Rijkt maar bergen. Oh, voor die knap zijn. Middle rod. A little bit bigger than the last one. Don't feel like a car. This be the first stage in. What's oh, coming? Yeah, there, right? We'll do it up. Round his spin. I must have got beeping now. In the nets, yes. Complimentaries of a friend. Might try to slip that out of the way a second. One, two, three. Nice one, mate. Well done. That's number two. Damien's has just gone to the toilet. I've never seen him run so fast. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Always when you're doing something. Nice little mirror. goes feels all right again you know huh? so it feels all right again you know 
Not moving. Oh. Oh, it felt like it was stuck on something. Is it swimming towards me now? I bet it was stuck on something. Felt really heavy just then, do you know what I mean? And then, no, yeah, it's small. He was stuck on something at first. says he just says I'd like one more and tie also got on him look at him torpedo to fight. He said earlier on, just one more, and he caught one. And he said it again, just one more. And he's in again. Sneaky, sneaky. It's 
sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Scaly bunga mate, beautiful. Connor's in. On the rod where he's had his last two sturgeon. The same sturgeon, could this be the th same sturgeon for the third time? How's it feel? Stealthily. <laughs> You've got the sturgeon again from the same spot. <laughs> That's the same fish. And if it's the same one, I don't think I've known anybody catch the same fish three times in one day. So we'll let him get his toes and then we'll have it. Well, there he is. For the third time. Right, this is near my little friend here. You don't come back to me, okay? You go to him. So Connor's had, Connor's had four fish today. This one, fish, uh, this one three times. <laughs> Not a bad day really. It's still early, it's just getting dark. It's uh it's getting on to six o'clock. Damien's just gone. Uh we had about twelve, I think, twelve or thirteen. I've had four. Connor's had five. Three of them have been the same fish each time, sturgeon. And I said send it my way, so I can catch my first one. I've never caught one, I've never caught a sturgeon, so it doesn't matter what side of the sturgeon is, it'd be nice just to catch my first one. So, uh, gassing the rods back out. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a few throughout the night. And then, uh, in the morning, I'll bring them in, I'll have a walk around the site, show you the other pools, and then uh, get back to fishing. So, uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the night. Okay, it's Kristen's first fish of the night. There's one in the dark. We do, I'm just recasting your other rod. It's not 
big. It's welcome. That's it. As you can see, we've got lovely patterns on Them one of being this small when um, you catch in the winter, do you, Chris? Lively in the net, though. Well done, mate. Thank you, mate. Okay, it's Chris into his second fish of the night now. Second fish of the night. Yeah, 20 minutes after the last one. My spot's died down now, I'm not doing so well. But um, at least one of us is still catching. Right, he's got it out of the water. It's a nice size. Quite a chunky one, isn't it? Tail, massive tail, massive tail. They always have the orange on the bottom as well, don't they? For the winter colours. So we've got orange. Nice. Let's go back. Yeah, went a bit dead, didn't it? So, well done, mate. Until next time. That's it. Okay, so Chris into his third fish of the night now. I told him about 9 o'clock. Huh? Yeah, it's third, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's It's the same spot, isn't it? Same spot. I've just changed the place. Mean again, me. No luck. Whereas earlier, it was the other way around, wasn't it? I was having all the luck, Chris wasn't. Yeah, so it's got a sauce Tiny, yeah. I was just in my sleeping bag, yeah. Getting warm. Uh, rips off again and you shout, corner, corner. So I had to jump out again in my blooming slippers to take a video for him. What do you do without me, eh? Lovely fish, mate. Small. 
it'd be nice, you know, if I do fall asleep to be woken up by you know, a double figure fish. But uh, it's all past the point eight again now. So fingers crossed. Right, so since it's all for the night now. some particle down there though that I had left so I think um, just be nibbling on that and knocking the line with the tail probably causing it to be a bit more slack and Where you go? He's got a stair too. Same one. <laughs> right. Look at that there. Hey, that's the beauty. Let's get him back and let's go and milk Connor. Looks like the same one again. Tell you what, they're greedy, aren't they? If this is the same sturgeon, <laughs> different, we'll tell by the tail. So he's caught this sturgeon four times today. <laughs> I haven't, I'd love to catch a sturgeon, I haven't caught a sturgeon yet. I've never caught a sturgeon, so I'd love to catch a sturgeon, and he's got the same one. Right, the reason why we know it's the same sturgeon. No, it's different. Isn't no. It? Because look, there's a split in the tail. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, I told you that. Yeah, I'll do Hopefully for the last time. Okay. He's got like four hook marks on his hand. Go on, let me take Are a picture. Sure? Are you sure the drifts don't all have the mark in the tail? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Come on. Right. You know what you need to do is stop trying to roll over. Alright, turn your lights off, mate. There you go. So well done again, mate. <laughs> you might have broken a Guinness World Record, mate. You might have broken a Guinness World Record. <laughs> yeah, you ever seen that somebody so disappointed about catching a fish? <laughs> Catch the same fish four times. <laughs> Just dropping off. Connor's just gone in there. Give me a shout. So he's uh, he's had one. Only small, but you know what? He's happy with it. Which one was it on? The margin one. Not the ones that you cast it out. Oh, he's on about the double take. Ah.
better than having the stage in the game, mate, eh? Well done, bud. ripped off left one on the margin and um, into a nice fish so again not big but really condition I'll get back to you once I cut it out I'll just have to cut past two kind of a nice mirror and there we are
chubs going back that way and I'm going back that way back in me bed Well, good morning, day two. Just got woken up, it's about, about eight o'clock. I think the last fish was caught about quarter past two. It's just woke me up in the morning now. What time is it, about eight o'clock? Five to eight. Five to eight. Just had his first fish of the morning. Nice wake. They're all very lively in the cradle here, aren't they? Lovely mate. Mm. It's just as nice on this side as well. Looks like the scale perfect. Very close up to He's freezing. Look at the same right look. God. Absolutely. Scale meat condition. The tail. Oh, you mate. Well done, dude. So it's about quarter past eight. I put my rods in. And before I concentrate on today's session, I thought we'd have a quick walk around. This is the pool that we've been fishing. I'm guessing this is the match pool. It's not a bad size. I'm just wondering what, what pool that is then, because it's all fenced off.
So I've just casted all three of my rods out after having a walk around the campsite. Um, a few more people here. No. One next to me here. One next to him. Two further on down. Actually got Connor. Um, I think it's just restricted my casting when I was catching over on this side here, so I've had to move it back over here now. So, one in front of that grass jetty there, one in the corner where I had it this morning, where we first fished this morning, and I'll just stop with the margin. Down here. Well, I thought it was your right, Rod. So, Connor's in. Just fishing over towards where them geese are over there. Let me just uh, zoom in. Well, I think where them geese are, mate. By the huts. Oh, by the huts here. Doesn't matter, it's still nice to have one on the next day, mate. It's going over towards the other line, isn't he? Oh, oh, has he come off? Ah. Oh. So Connor's in. It's been a few hours now without one, so it's quite a blessing. Is he swimming towards you or is it just a small one? It doesn't matter mate, it's still a fish, innit? What's that one on? The sauce. sauce. In the nets. Get him out. We'll have a look. He's ready, look already. He wants to go. And away he goes. Well done, buddy. So we were just talking to the owner. As we were talking to the owner, his rod just went off. But, uh, he's having a good morning, Connor is. He had the one at quarter away. Has he just come off? Ah. Just come off. So he's lost two this morning. He's had one, he's lost two. So, uh, oh, well, that's it. We'll get it back out and we'll try again. But Connor's on. I don't think it's big because he's reeling it in quite quickly. Unless it was swimming towards him. The chap down there that's on uh, seems to be fighting quite well. Mirror. And the net. I'll have a little look at him when he uh, gets him out. Again, the mirror is on there. Pristine fish. This. And just as nice on the other side. There you go, look. Superb. It's going back.
And he zooms off. Well done, mate. Okay. Connor's just casted back out. He just went down to see uh, the fish that that chap was uh, catching down there. Down here. Um, just weighed it. 16 pound. He's right lump. He's right belly on him. I won't mind him. Looks bored to us. We'll have a bit of a campfire later when it gets dark. And uh, apart from that one that I got woke up by this morning, I've had a couple of runs but nothing on the end of it. So uh, hopefully it picks up. Colin's doing alright, he's, he's lost a couple. Done the hard work and then lost them like as, he got, as he's got brought them in closer and he's had a couple as well so. Come on fishy fishies. So, got the food cooking, and the chef's just had to run off. I'm just going to turn these down. Turn that one off. I was trying to flip the bacon whilst recording Connor. Let's get into him, there we go. Come off again! How's the hook looking? Come off again, change the walk I think. Get back to you soon. 20 to 2. It's been a quiet morning. And a quiet afternoon so far. Crazy how they just switch off, you know. Yesterday it was yeah, you know, we were all catching and Connor's had a couple earlier on. But there's no there's no liners, there's no bleeps. Hopefully that'll change. So uh Fingers crossed, I'll see you in a bit. Connor! Can you grab my phone? It's in the bivvy. A long time coming. I was just setting up there. Uh, just setting up my other rod, and that was on the uh, life system. So I only put that out probably about 20 minutes ago. The only bait they haven't tried all day, and it's gone. I just put a bit of water on it here because it's a bit dry now. <laughs> oh, well. oh, how are you going again? 
Right, do you want to do me a quick favour? That one goes back now, mate. Cheers, pal. I just need the net, or if you want to go and grab your net. Just a little one. Like I say, it's an absolute live wire. Look at him for a car. Lovely little one. <laughs> He's ready to go back. That's it, I'm getting back now. Well done, mate. Well, the bites are slow, but we're a beautiful evening. So I've got my receiver with me. My rods are just there. Connor's are here. Just having a little bit of a campfire, just getting that going. Plenty of wood. Good few hours worth of wood. Like I say, it's seven, I think it's seven pound fifty a basket. But, uh, yeah, we'll sit by this, keep warm because it is a bit nippy. Looks like it's going to be a clear night tonight. I tell you what, what an evening. Chris into his first one of the evening. Changed my life system um, early on today. He wasn't really having any success on um, any other bait. And he's had two now on the life system, so obviously the life system are doing well for him. There you go. Thank you very much. Well done, mate. So, just sitting down now, keeping warm. With the fire logs that's uh, supplied by. Oakland's. Obviously, we're well away from the Vivis. That's kind of the army. Yep. Okay. 
So, Chris is in. First one of the night in the live system. Second one of the night, sorry. Well. Oh no. Oh well, mate. Win some, lose some, eh? Welcome to Connor's world today. Fortunate, mate. Okay, so Chris into another one for the night. Life system's gone again. I'm calling the island. Well, call it an island, it's a bit of a hard cove thing. Oh. <laughs> yes, have a laugh. <laughs> What's the net doing in the water? <laughs> <laughs> Last night I was doing brilliant. 40 minutes sleep all night. It's been a challenging day today. Different from yesterday and um, yeah, no luck for me tonight unfortunately. Hopefully that changes soon. Yeah, challenging. Uh, the fish have been you know, quite far between like waiting hours. Slow, hasn't it? Catch one and then it'll come off. It'll be quite disheartening. Yeah. So even though it's only Hold on a minute. Connor's just had a really slow day. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bit chilly. How are we doing? Talk about a slow take. Hey. Beep. Beep. In the nets. I'll turn your light off, mate. It's quarter to three. And Connor's wasted about 12 hours for this one, aren't you, mate? Probably a bit longer than that. Your last fish yesterday, then the time yesterday morning. Mm. I think so, mate. Just do one more, just in case. Well done, Mucker. Well, that quarter cool. last seven. I really could have carried on sleeping. Um, good bags on these, you can shop with them. Nothing since Connor's last one. Very pretty. Um, so I'm going to cast mine back out. I'm going to reel them in, rebait up, cast them back out. We've got about three hours left. Connor, he's making a decision. He's going to just move his rods just down. This side of the pool instead of this side of the pool, and um, hopefully we can get a few before we go. So fingers crossed. I'll be back with you in a bit. Now, whatever's to the uh, left of that island, there's a proper snag. Anyway, it snapped me because I've only literally got not long left. Just stuck a smaller hook on just to see what else is in here. Obviously, this is, you get match fishermen, don't you? That, that come. It's been out probably about 10 minutes. All it is just a hook and a line on my rod. Look at that for a perch. Angry. Look, off he goes. So, uh, so if you are into your match fishing, also. Obviously, nice match fish to go at. So, Christmas is first one in the morning. That's probably been at about 25 minutes, half an hour. 
just recast it. Same with my one, the one I had last night, right? She wouldn't stop going. She wouldn't bring his head up. And the same with that one. That was alright, actually. It's Right, so that's all landed, so we'll get back to you once it gets out of the water. Right, so it's out of the water now. Lovely looking car. so left so it's quite welcoming to have this one this time in the morning well done mate look at fish Yeah, so I've had a few of these now on the just on the hook on the line. There's a few, a few nice perch to be had. So, um, okay. Beauty. Okay. So Chris is in again. Get back to your once in the cradle. So, so I get another welcome, one, not big. Still. I'm going to put it back in the net. This thing's over there, drying out. Hopefully we'll have one more before we end up wrapping up. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. So Connor's been waiting 
a long time for this one. Made a good decision to move for the last few hours. Sorry? I just say he made a good decision to move for the last few hours. Shallower water, probably a bit warmer. So we got up at uh, like quarter past seven, I think it was, uh, after having just a few hours sleep. And he decided to move. It's paid off for him. Well done mate, alright so we'll let him sort him out and then we'll get back to the video as soon as he's, uh, as soon as he's ready. Now this one's quite unique, look at this, absolutely perfect on that side and on this side it's like he's got a scar, oh he's got one there, maybe it's just the way he's stretch marks <laughs> and he's got a scar. I don't know if it's a scar if it's just part of the uh, part of the fish. Either way, there's a cracker. They're cold, aren't they? It's like picking up a block of ice. fish they look quality there's a few that have got like cuts in the corner of their mouth but apart from that they are scale perfect they have plenty of energy so definitely healthy shame we haven't had any specimens already 20s but we've had plenty he goes well done buddy managed to get one before we go so just about to wrap up, Chris into another one. Yeah, we'll have a fish this close to the end of the session, mate. Don't matter the size. my last hour. Again, small, but absolutely, I'm to get close up to this, absolutely pristine. Now, what I call it a specimen lake, you can see a few twenties in here, the majority of them are quite small, um, I'd probably call it more of a pleasure lake. I tell you what, cracking day, cracking 48 hours, um, absolutely awesome. Um, like I say, we're here probably for another half hour. If we have another one, I'll get back to you. If not, carry on casting. Mm -hmm.